just to put it in perspective, I just hiked around the hill looking for this little, little guy that's literally four feet away from where I'm filling up the water. I didn't even see him. I, he was born yesterday. Uh, I was a little bit concerned about him and didn't get that cold last night. Oh, there you go again. They just blend in so well with their environment. As of this exact moment, we are up to a total of six newborn baby fallow deer here at Red Poppy Ranch. And typically in the first 24 hours, I should have put ear tags on all of the new baby deer. I have not done this. Some of the deer are now four and five days old, and they're gonna be a little bit fun to catch. But getting ear tags on all the new baby deers is something that's required. Our friends Mandy and Brandon returned to their lives in Queen Creek, Arizona and a few days later my lovely wife's parents drove up from Queen Creek, Arizona as well. I've known Cedar's parents since I was 16 years old. We've now been together 28 years and still I have something lacking inside me that hopes for a little bit of recognition when they're around. Hopefully they recognize that I have moved the needle a little bit since the last time they were here. And hopefully to them, the place has improved. I'm about 70% done moving the dirt that I need to move. As I work on these individual terraces to pull the hill back, I have quite a bit of dirt piling up. So I jumped in the skid steer and added about another foot to the dirt that I'd already put down. Because of what we've gone through so far with our fallow deer, I want to keep a year supply of hay around here. And at the moment, I don't have a place to put 250 bales of hay.
Our herd of eight fallow deer consisting of six does and two bucks has just turned into a herd of 14 deer and I'm not sure of the exact ratios of bucks to does but either way at the current rate that they eat hay 250 bales should be more than enough to get me through winter and into next year's haying season. So I originally built this room out here for our goats when they were having babies and because I don't intend on having goats around here anytime in the near future, this is where I'm going to keep the 250 bales. But before I can do that, I really want to clean this place up and get rid of a whole lot of buildup around where I'm going to keep the food for the deer. As you well know, nothing is permanent around here at Red Poppy Ranch, but I built this basically using deck screws so it wasn't that difficult to take apart. I think she's in labor. She's looking at anybody and everybody to help her. I feel bad for her. Now just to be clear, all the goats are doing great and living their best life at a friend of ours place not far from where we live. But we're in the deer business now, so they're not coming back. Now don't tell Cedar that I said this, but she clearly feels guilty for going to the Kenny Chesney concert tonight with her best friend instead of me, and therefore that's why she's out here helping me clean up this mess. Either way, I always love it when she's working with me. Cedar and her BFF have been going to see Kenny Chesney since they were about 15 years old, so I know my place and I stay out of the way. So if I could do that around here, I'll just take all that on top and go put it on the compost pile. That's perfect. That's nasty. <laughs> that is nasty. They say in order for your chicken to produce the best eggs possible, they should have a big healthy compost pile close by. After building this chicken coop on the north side of our shop, I have figured out that it's not bright enough for the chickens, and if I want those chickens to lay as much as they possibly can, 
I'm probably going to have to relocate their chicken coop. Oh, hey, how are we doing over here? Oh, look at that, you got two of them. Okay, he has just been born. How are we doing, friend? Are you doing okay? We need to get you here a little cold. You're a little bit cold. Let's get you inside. You gonna make it? Okay, right there. So my only white deer, she gave birth from right there. That was bad right there last night. Come on, dog. Come on, Reed. Come on, Ruben.
So after scraping off and removing as much of the leftovers from the goats and the chickens, I now want to use all of this in our compost pile. And the plan is to relocate the chicken coop up to where the new compost pile now lives. In the middle of everything else that I had going on, I had the opportunity to go get a whole bunch of sod if I was willing to pick it up out of the fields where it was cut. And guess what? I was willing to pick it up out of the field. Now I have about 1,400 square feet of sod that I'm gonna put down and get started out here in the deer pen. But the trick is I have to keep the deer off this for quite a while if I want it to take. This is Kentucky bluegrass, which the fallow deer naturally love. And my oldest son's former employer allowed me to go pick up the scraps out of the sod farm where they were cutting sod. Now this is the fastest way that I can come up with getting grass growing out here in the deer pen without going through all the process of seeding and planting and simply waiting for the grass to show up. The plan was to work on the rock retaining wall, but you make hay when the sun's shining and I worked, literally worked myself into the ground trying to get all this sod collected up, knowing that if I could get it to take up here at the ranch, it would completely change our lives and the deer's lives having all this grass. But I'm going to have to do this in sections and therefore I'm going to have to fence off this grass and then water the grass until I know for sure the roots are deep enough to let the deer on it which truthfully may not happen this year. If I can keep the deer off of the bluegrass until we get some snow, that may not be a bad idea. But either way, if I have the chance to get some more sod, I'm gonna to continue to put it down.
Well, I've had my sidekick, Reed, helping me with a few different projects this week, but he had an interest in laying the sod and helping his old dad improve the place just a little bit. Reed is reaching that age where he's taking more and more of an interest in doing whatever dad happens to be doing, and less and less interest in gaming. That's a good thing. So I try to involve Reed in everything that he's willing to do, regardless of how hard it might be and how hot it might be outside, but he's always ready to work. Now that we've got the majority of the sod down, it is now time to put up a fence to keep the deer off the sod for as long as I can. We hope you're all doing well out there. Thanks for stopping by and we will see you in a week. Mm -hmm.